Hello guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve these two problems. So the first problem says that a 600 pound crate is supported by several rope and pulley arrangements is shown. Determine for each arrangement the tension in the rope. So we have to find the applied tension for all the five cases. So this is the free body diagram for A, B, C, D and E, all the five cases. So the weight of the crate is uh, 600 pounds. So the weight is going to act in the downward direction. So we have to represent that weight. So this is the weight and the weight is 600 pounds. In all the cases, the weight is acting vertically downward as we know. now we are assuming that uh, the all the ropes are almost vertical right so there is no angle of the rope with the vertical we are assuming that all the ropes are vertical now in the first case we have to cut this rope so the tension applied uh, since this rope is continuous so we will have the when we cut this rope or cable we will have the same tension on the other side of the pulley as well so we will have tension T here and we will have tension T. So this will be T and this is T. So this is for case A. Now for case A, if I write for case A, if we since the crate is in equilibrium, if we apply the summation of forces along Y, that must be equals to zero. The upward direction is considered to be positive. So now we have T t plus t minus 600 pounds equals to zero so we can say the 2t minus 600 2t minus 600 is equals to zero or we can say that t is equal to 600 divided by 2 which is 300 pounds so if the arrangement shown if the arrangement is like this case a then the tension required for part a is 300 pounds now in the second case again if we look we need to cut this right so if we cut this and we are going to consider this pulley for equilibrium so if we cut this rope we will have that same tension here we will have that same tension in this particular rope this rope and this rope so again we will have t and t so let's represent those tensions so we will have t and t so we have that same free body diagram so you will have that same uh, t of 300 pounds so we, we can write that this is for case b this is similar to case a and we will have t equals to 300 pounds so there is no difference in the applied force if the arrangement of for the arrangement of a and b now for case c if we look into this so again we have this continuous rope and again we are going to consider this uh, pulley for equilibrium we need to cut all the ropes so we will have that same tension here and we will have that same tension here so we will have t t and t so this is t t and t now we are assuming that this rope is almost vertical so this is t plus t plus t if we apply the summation of forces along y for case c So we have t plus t plus t minus 600 equals to 0. So we can say that 3t minus 600 equals to 0. Or we can say that 600 divided by 3. So this is 200 pounds. So if we have the arrangement like case C, then we need to apply 200 pounds of tension. So there will be a 200 pound of tension in the, in the ropes. Now, similarly for case D, so in case D, we can see that uh, here we have that tension T and again, the rope is only one rope, which is continuous. So if we cut all the ropes, if we cut the rope like this, so we will have the tension, the same tension all around. So again, we will have, if we consider this, so we will have T, T and T. So we got the same free body diagram just like this previous case. This is case B, this is C and this is D. 
so d and c case are the same so we will have t t and t so again we will have 3t equals to 600 and for we will have for case d we will have the same case is uh, case c so we will have t equals to 200 pounds similarly for the last case this is case e so again for case e we need we need to consider both these pulleys since they are attached to each other so we need to cut all the ropes here like this so again we will have t t and t so this is t t and t so we will have four t's four tensions act, uh, acting in the upward direction so t t and t so for case e we have t plus t again applying the summation of forces along y remember that is equals to zero so t plus t plus t plus t minus 600 equals to zero or we can say that 4t is equals to 600 and 600 divided by 4 is 150 so t is equal to 150 pounds so this is the solution of problem 267 now in problem 268 it is said that solve part b and d assuming that the force the free end of the rope is attached to the crate so so we need to solve this part b and d when this free end of the rope is attached to the crate so now this is the case let me attach this free end to the crate like this so this is attached right this is attached to the crate like this and this is that let me make it a bit larger so the crate is like this this is part b and similarly in part d again we have this crate and this free end is attached to the crate like this so now for part b this is our part b now this is attached to the crate the free end of the rope so now we need to cut like this if we cut like this we will have the free body diagram like this let me show that we will have this pulley we will have one t like this t and then we will have the crate like this and then we will have one t like this so we can consider we can cut the ropes here as well we can cut the ropes here as well so then we have to find this tension first and then we have to uh, apply the equilibrium condition to this crate only so now let's say if we cut the ropes here so we will have the free body diagram like this and then we will have this t t and t and the weight is acting vertically downward that is 600 pounds and now if, if someone says that we want to cut the rope here so then we will have the free body diagram like this this will be the crate let me show the crate this will be the crate 600 pound weight and then this one is let's say t and let's say here we have t dash now this rope will have some other tension and let's say that is t dash and then this is t now in order to find t dash we need to consider this part of the system as a free body diagram so then we will have the pulley like this we will have t t and then we will have t dash if i consider this free body diagram if i consider this free body diagram and apply, apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so we will have t plus t so 2t minus t dash equals to zero or we can say that t dash is equal to 2t now we know t dash in terms of t so we will equate it here this is t dash is 2t and then we will consider the sum of forces in the y for this free body diagram so the sum of forces in the y for this one so that will be 2t again this t dash we can say that t dash plus t minus 600 equals to zero and we can say that um, 
t dash is now 2t so this this t dash is 2t plus t minus 600 equals to 0 or we can say that 3t minus 600 equals to 0 and t is equal to 200 pounds now this is for case b so for case b when the free end is not attached to the crate the t is equal to 300 pounds and now when the free end is attached to the crate the tension in the ropes in the rope is 200 pounds now we have considered uh, we have cut the both of these ropes here now if we cut this um, these this single rope here so we will have the free body diagram like this and again we will get the same answer that t equals to 200 pounds so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero for this so we will have t plus t plus t so that is 3t minus 600 so 3t minus 600 and 600 divided by 3 is 200 so now it's up to you people it's the, if if you if you guys want to cut the rope here then you have to consider two free body diagrams like this and this similarly for part d again i i want to cut this rope here right so we will have the free body diagram like this for part d so for part d so we have one two and three and then we have the crate and this free end this free end is attached to the crate so we will have one t here so we will have so this is for part d now again if you apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero in the upward direction is our positive y so we will have t plus t plus t plus t so 4t minus the weight which is 600 pounds so 4t minus 600 equals to 0 and t equals to 600 divided by 4 which is 150 pounds so now when the free end is attached to the rope the tension in the rope decreases as we can see that in part d for the first problem uh, the tension in the rope is 200 pounds when the free end is not attached to the crate and similarly when the free end is attached to the crate in part d the tension decreases from 200 pounds to 150 pounds so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston